All right. Yeah. So we're heading back to the lodge. Mm-hmm. All right. So you all head back to the lodge and go talk to Wyatt, I guess. I'll go talk to him. Okay. I'm going to knock on his door. Hey, kid. Wyatt. <laughs> Is he still here? I'm gonna throw the door open. Is it? Um, he didn't lock his door. Uh, I don't know. Probably not. I was hoping that would get a response. Did he take off? I mean, last message he. No, sorry. Oh, there we go. There he is. Both. Both Frankie yeah. and I go to message him on Facebook. I was about to type, Wyatt, where the fuck are you? Uh, okay. I'm knocking at your door. Ben. You good? Yeah, so far. What's wrong? Just with all the chaos I'm feeling under the weather. Oh. <laughs> but Emily's safe. Is there, what's the... Uh, is there a bad situation the closest I can get to, like, an insight check? Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. Depends on what the questions are, I guess. I just want to know if he's bullshitting me to go sneak out again or something. Um, let me pull it up here. Oh, roll uh, if it's no, a fail. Am de definitely not read a bad situation. I was going to say, roll, because if it's a fail... Emily's pregnant, so it's not good. <laughs> Don't do Bad that. Situa to Bad situation you've got worse. Uh yeah, well, something's happened when you can't get out of a room. <laughs> uh I mean manipulate someone would probably be your best bet, and that's plus charm. Okay. Because that, like, you can tell them to tell you the truth, basically. Plus charm. Oh, yeah, I have a two in here. Nine plus two, so eleven. So, with that... You get plus one experience, or you get to mark experience, and you get plus one forward if they do what you ask. Okay. Wyatt, do you actually not feel good, or are you just saying that to all leave so you can sneak out your window? Do I sound like I feel good? I grew up in foster homes, so you could have been faking it. I just want to be sure. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling that great. But I've kept Emily safe, which is what matters. All right. Um. What's been going on with y'all? We're gonna. Um, a few interesting developments, but Elias is still missing, so we're gonna head out to his cabin and see if he's out there. And try and smash the altar with a hammer. How big is the altar? I don't know. But I also found a pipe wrench. That might help. I don't think you can smash an altar with a pipe wrench, Frankie. I can at least break it a little. 
Huh. We'll figure it out. We're gonna go try and smell. But you might be able to use a jeep or something to pull it up into something to let it fall and break on its own. Or um, maybe a sledgehammer. Or if they've got a jackhammer up here, maybe that'll work. Yeah, we can swing by and buy a sledgehammer. I mean, that was going to be part of it anyway. I don't have a hammer. I have a pipe wrench and an axe. So, it's just going to dull. Oh, it might sharpen it, actually, if I smack it. Rock. Maybe hit it at wow. the right angle. Just start shearing it. Just rub it along the edge. Um. All right, I guess just hang out, hang out, try and rest. Don't go outside. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, bye. Hey, if you all need help. Uh, I got I got a rifle. We'll be okay. You you hold on to that. Just in case. Okay, I'll guard Emily. Okay. Good job. Hey bye. Emily, I definitely think that given the circumstances we shouldn't go sneaking off again. Yeah, probably not. But I also think that they he might was be in the closet. But sorry, what was, was that? what was that, Wyatt? They might. I said, but they also might be in over their head, too. Yeah, but I don't know that we would be able to help. I mean, you have your rifle, but didn't do us too much good last time, did it? Ooh. You're not wrong. Is there roof access to this building? Uh, um, probably. Wouldn't be hard to get up there. We could always go up to the roof and be watch out. Look out. Um, just based on the pictures. One second here. I have pictures of the place. Uh, not only lodge. Yeah, based on the pictures, you could easily get on top. We can there's... post up on the. We can post up on the roof with binoculars and the rifle and walkie-talkie and help uh, coordinate if we see something. All right, that sounds like fun. Go to the map. Good at climbing, or are there stairs? Um, we I I can get a ladder. That's probably a better answer. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's let me go grab a ladder then. All right. So she leaves you alone. I will not run out the window. I will not run out the window. I will not run out the window. I'm gonna go lock the window. <laughs> and sit on my hands. Cause that helps. Uh okay. So yeah. Basically, if you're if you're just wanting to post up on the roof, that's fine. Yeah, we'll take a, the walkie-talkie up there and binoculars and the rifle, and we'll keep watch. Okay. You're you're like on the far side of town, and they're going on the other side of town. But yeah, sure, that'll 
that, that's that, why we're going to the roof yeah well they're going into the woods I'm that's what i'm saying the kid doesn't have the greatest ideas but he tries, he tries. no but there was action and stuff like at the pub and yeah i don't know fine. if you can see that far so it's like there's not like nothing ever happens in town Uh, he's, doing, he's doing something. Yes. He he's helping. That's like that meme of I'm helping. Exactly. I was about to try to do the voice and that would have gone very poorly. It would have been, been great. I'm helping. <laughs> it if I try. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> don't. So Frankie's Frank back down. Back with the ladder. Yeah, she she comes back and yeah, and then Frankie comes down to you guys. Um and what do you guys do? Where you guys are going to the hardware store the hardware store that's yep okay you, I'll go in. you remember the side by side was you rented that from the hunting lodge right yeah but we need a yep. hammer i think we need something more than a hammer hammer seems tiny when was the hardware store is that the wilderness outfitters outfitters yeah that's what i thought okay which that's is it. just down the street just down the street Everything's just down the street. It's only two streets big. Who is it? My outfitters. Um, what is his name? Um, you guys went there, didn't you? Henry. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not his real name. Okay. I'm going to go into the hardware store and just go, like, once... Hold on. I'll wait. Never mind. Wait, for what? Well, usually when you go into a store, they're like, hello. Hi. Ding dong. <laughs> Sorry. I just, got, I just got a text from uh, Maxine. <laughs> anyway... Uh, you. Oh, I told you the name, and you still felt the need to do that. Um, I still, I did, just for you. So you head to the hardware store. You open the door, and you hear the dingaling. Henry. Um, and ding -a sure enough, there's Henry standing behind the counter, and he pops up his head, and he's like, "Oh, hey, welcome back, guys. Um, what can I do for you?" I need one sledgehammer, please. Just one sledgehammer. Uh, I don't know what no, else. We'll, we'll probably take a couple sledgehammers. Three? There's three of yeah. you. Might as well. Makes the work go faster. <laughs> and it's going on the company cards, so it doesn't matter. That's right. It's like, do you have a fancy? Do you have a bougie? Do you have well, one that, like... they're going to be doing like... the expenses for this. So they're going to be like, you needed... Three sledgehammers. Yes. Yes. It's titanium hard. Titanium? <laughs> yeah, something, something, yeah. Something bougie. Can but, we get yes. diamond sledgehammers, please? Yes. Can we get a diamond? Yes. You know, like on Minecraft. <laughs> I thought that'd be a joke that I would make. That was good. That was great. I love that. Um, I can get you our best sledgehammers, but I mean, it's a sledgehammer. It's oh, we get yes, it. Henry. It only it doesn't matter. It's just three sledgehammers. Not... Maybe like a chisel and a wedge would be good too, just so we can you know. We're trying what, to break. What some are we rock. trying? You're breaking down rock. Like rock. how yeah. big are we talking? Yeah. Pretty big. A decent size. 
would how don't you have like rough dimensions or something that you said victor did you guys ever say the size yeah i think you said it was like three feet tall and i don't know two feet wide or something something like that it's I a can't... big rock I can't remember. Yeah. All right. Um, do you just want me to get you some supplies together and then we'll call it a day? Or do you want to pick specifically what you want? As long as there's a sledgehammer, you can pick. You are the yeah. expert. Yeah, that's right. Just something that you think we need to break some rock. We're looking for gold. It's going to be great. You are? I just want to smash a rock with a sledgehammer. Because I can get you yeah. like panning just... supplies as well if you want. No, 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 no. Not that kind of... What kind of gold picture. are we talking about then? I have no. No, idea. we're not. He's, he's yeah, like, just. I just want to break a rock. Ooh, do you hammer. do you want a pickaxe? Oh, I'm going to help. pickaxe help? Is it a diamond pickaxe like off Minecraft? Do you play a lot of Minecraft? You seem a bit old. I really like Minecraft. <laughs> Victor, they don't have Careful actual Victor. diamond sledge hammers, right? That would be sweet, but... No, we don't. Okay. Um, this is generally are steel or iron. Okay. All right. Um, let me just get some supplies together for you, and then I'll let you know how much it is. So he walks away from you guys and lets you guys browse if you want. How much time do you spend playing Minecraft, Victor? Too much. In your downtime. You know, a lot, of, a lot like, of downtime. I feel like, like you know how there's AA. I feel like there's something for that. For gamers, for old gamers. It's uh, it's um, actually. I mean, in the group, it's MA. I don't. I just, this is going to be a dumb MA. joke. It's Minecraft Anonymous. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I was thinking like, OG AA. Old gamers, or no, OG addictions. Yeah. No, yeah, old gamer addiction. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. See if there's a see if there's, there's a group actually in, something. See if there's a group in town. Hey, Victor! Oh, I got the uh, acronym wrong. But they've got a meeting in Fort Simpson. There you go. They've got a group. Why did you... Why is Frankie suddenly massive? I'm not. I was it, reading message. In the camera. Because Cody's gone. Oh, yeah. He uh, lost power. Okay. So... Uh, he comes back to the front, and he has a couple of pickaxes, a couple of sledgehammers, um, some chisels, um, and uh, that's about it. For the record, it's GAA. It does exist. Gamers Anonymous? There you go. Gaming Addicts Anonymous. Uh, there you go. Oh, hey, Victor, their next meeting's on Tuesday. I'm not that addicted to Minecraft. It's all right. Thanks for the heads up, Frankie. Uh, are, are you actually addicted to Minecraft? Like, are you... My son likes my son likes the game if if you're interested. I don't got time for games. I just been too busy. Okay. Um well, let me know. I we can have you over for supper sometime and uh maybe you can you guys can game a little bit. Um anyway, uh that'll be $450. Oh, company card. Got it. 
Uh, so you guys get your supplies, and are you heading to the hunting lodge then? Yep. I don't think he will, but if our boss asks, we definitely needed these things. I am not going to question. I assume everybody needs these things. Um, right? Exactly. So you head out and head towards the Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge. Um, and head to the rental counter, which is not where Tobias is. And it's going to be a random NPC. Wait, okay. So let me get... Oh, I've got to make a, like, feud page. Like we had love triangles. Okay, so uh, Tobias and Maxine have a feud, apparently. Yeah, every time I get near him, he's got attitude. Maxine, Tobias. Victor. <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. Who was the one that Frank? I thought Frankie butted heads with somebody. Oh. Yeah, Edmund. 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 That's right. <laughs> They've got their own nickname for him. Dick for brain, I believe, is Everybody. the. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so we've all we've all got our nemesis in town. I think Wyatt. Is, and, and, I don't think Wyatt, Wyatt does. Yeah, he does. It's in party. His is Charlie. Oh, right. And Charlie is Wyatt. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Would you, you say Ty Tyus reciprocates this feud, Maxine? Uh, probably. Probably. Okay. Frankie asks that. And they look at you, and they wait for your answer, and, and then they just go, okay, and they go back to their journal. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. It's like, I don't understand his whole attitude. We've been nothing but good to him. Sure. Anyway, so you go to the rental counter and rent your, uh, your mule, and you head out on your way. Okay, let's go. Okay. So where are we heading first? To the cabin? To see yep. if we can hunt down Elias? The cabin is also where the altar is. I think we go to the oh, cabin. The altar is there at the cabin? Oh, I didn't know you guys put it there. I did. Not in-game. I must have blocked it out. You're just trying to really role-play your character. Yeah. You guys would know where it was because we told you where it was. No, you just so told us it was there. safe. Yeah, that's what you said. You didn't tell us where it was. Oh, weird anonymous. Like, I thought Charlie and I told them it was buried in a pile of wood at Elias's. No, it's possible. Always... I don't remember. I don't remember that. I try to remember like very important details. That's not really an important detail. Ooh. Well, you guys having the knowledge where he hid it, that's not really important to me. Knowing where it is, that's important to me. Alright, is there anything you guys are going to talk about on your way out there, or no? Um... Tobias seemed really standoffish. Really. <laughs> no, what I'm... It's like... Do you think that, Frankie, do you think that we should tell Charlie? Is that his name? Yeah. No, Oliver. I don't know why I'm saying Charlie. Do you think we should tell Oliver his brother's out there or just respect Jason's wishes in him thinking he's dead? Mm. See, that's the thing. Like, his brother accepts that that's probably what happened. But his brother yeah. was convinced that he's going to walk right back through that door one day. So... Yeah. I don't... 
think Oliver cares that his brother's not the same anymore. I yeah. think he wants to know that his brother is relatively okay, as in still living. Yeah. So, it's like, even though he's deformed, it's it's still his brother, even though he's saying he's dead, but it's just dead. The old him is dead. So, sure, but big deal. I'm for, honestly, I'm for saying, uh, screw the dude's wishes and tell his brother, but. Yeah, exactly. I would want to know myself. And it's like, he can, he can go there and I don't know. It's like, Jason should be by himself. It, even if they just use it as like a, you know, goodbye. Yeah. Then it's closure. Yeah, I, I think that's right. A goodbye would have been nice. Yeah, I think so too. If it was me, I'd want to know. And then it's like he can decide what he wants to do himself. <laughs> but we can do that when we dealt with this thing. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Whatever, play it by ear. Alright. If you recall correctly, which I hope you do, um, you cannot take the mule into the woods where Elias' cabin is. Right, we had to recall correctly. I don't think Frankie was here that day. No. Nope. So... Or I was here, I just wasn't on the expedition. Uh, the first expedition time? No, you weren't. You uh, were... That was the Edmund took them out here day, and you did not attend that game. Yeah. So mad at them being nasty, I guess. Please go away. I'm not mad about that. I'm in the middle of a game. Please go away. Um... Okay, so, uh, you who's gonna carry the the equipment? I would assume Victor. Yes, Victor's gonna carry. I'll take, my, I'll take we this. We can carry there. stuff. Yeah, but it's like we can carry some stuff. And I'll carry the rest of it. He doesn't have to carry everything. All right. So you guys, uh, the head. Give me a second here. I gotta find out if this is actually a thing. Sorry. Um, let's go ahead and say they're ten pound sledgehammers. Sure. Well, I just looked up what's the best sledgehammer, and apparently ten pounds. Because I don't, I don't know that information. Um. So, uh, you all wander through the woods, and as you're wandering through the woods, you do begin to see some of the fog, and as you're wandering through the fog, you start to hear the whispers in your brain holes. That was loud. Um... And this is just like normal stuff. Uh, nothing like major. Uh, but as you start approaching, getting closer to the cabin, uh, you then come across the clearing. And roll read a bad situation whoever wants to roll it obviously not Wyatt but I'll roll it 
Oh. You got some experience points, Victor. Yeah, pretty sure this will be experience. Just one sec here. Why Can more than one of us roll it? Uh, in general, I, I prefer not, but it depends on what happens here. Where's my thing? In this one, in this specific situation, no. So six on a miss of read a bad situation, you might misread the situation. Example: Everything is fine here. It will be totally safe to go investigate alone. Uh oh. Uh, so as you enter the clearing, you take a look around. Nothing seems to be amiss. Okay, so where'd you stick this altar? That's right over there under that pile of wood. Okay, I'm gonna head over that way with my such hammer. Okay. As you start to walk over there. Uh, you know what? You're getting a lot closer, but feel free to read a bad situation again. Uh, maybe you should read this situation this time, Frankie. Uh, 11. Okay, so you get to hold three. So, what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Uh, are there any dangers we haven't noticed yet? So, I as you... <laughs> As you start to approach towards the wood pile, you notice translucent looking feet at the just poking out from the bottom of the wood pile, like on the other side of the wood pile as you're approaching it. That's not a creepy. Um, okay, um, what's my best way in, I guess? Um, in what context are we talking about? Like, best way to um, approach, or...? Yeah, to, like, I have to get closer to whatever this thing is. I'm assuming I know what it is, but still. Um, it would be slowly would be your best way. Okay. Like, uh, stealthily. Like, don't just charge. Got it. Um... Ooh, I don't know which other one to do. You can also hold one, so. Uh, yeah, I'll just hold the one. And... I guess I'll make my way slowly to it, Pink Panther style. But on mute... <laughs> this is like one of the only like circles that I can make that reference in and everyone understands what I meant uh so we're gonna have you act under pressure to do this to stealthily okay. move in however because you are acting on your read a bad situation, you will get a plus yeah. one towards this. So I get one. Oh, cool. That gives me. That cancels out my negative. Sorry, can we try that again? That was great. 
What? When you I said wish, that, I you said that, that gives me 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 I was saying getting a plus one will cancel out my negative one cool. Okay, we're good. But yeah, it just repeated me over and over and over and over and over again <laughs> for like three seconds. Nine. Nine? Nine. Sweet. Um, so. Give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Hmm. I am so thrilled about these options. So. So. I will give you a choice, I guess. Because you have not informed uh, Maxine or Victor about the situation, you have a choice. Either you have to make a noise and let them know what's going on, or they're going to make a noise and draw attention to themselves. So either the attention will be drawn to you or the attention will be drawn to them. Is it needs of many or needs of the few? You had to word it that way. I make a noise. Oh. You're too far away. Damn, I tried. Um... Hold on, let me think about this logically. Is the trolley problem to correct the tack tracks and come back? I think I'm gonna... Uh... I want to try and get the drop on this thing, so I'm going to go with the needs of the few. And keep going quietly. Okay. So, uh, you start to approach, and as you're approaching, you are sneaking along, and you peek around the corner, and you see Elias passed out on the ground with the bottom half of his body um actually no what we'll go with sorry i'm just going to change this up a little bit you do see elias passed out on the ground but his body has retained shape and form of elias but his skin is the translucent icy color that the skin of rachel was and as you approach um, Victor is walking along and he has to like readjust the bag on his shoulder that has all the stuff in it and he you hear the loud clank of the pickaxes and the sledgehammers banging against each other and immediately Elias jumps to all fours and dashes away Elias <clears throat> Like into the woods? Uh, kind of, that? but then around the corner as well. Like he runs past his wood pile and behind the house. Uh. And uh, you, um, Victor and Maxine, see not as large of a person but a translucent ice being charging towards you on all fours, running like a beast. Or it's Victor and I. Correct. Okay. 